Good morning, everyone. Uh, moving on to progress check for unit three, which is the experimental design unit, uh, experiments, observational studies. So what it discusses is two methods to uh, develop a sample. One is method one, recruit volunteers who are willing to participate, randomly assign each participant to exercise with a training partner to exercise alone. And method two, select a random sample of people from all of the people at the community fitness center and ask each person in the sample whether they use a training partner or use a response and use that response to create two groups. They're gonna rec record the uh, intensity of the uh, workout. So the first thing they wanted to do was what population could you generalize for? So um, this has really to do how the groups were initially collected. Since method one called on volunteers, uh, part one, the population of generalization would only be on the volunteer. She did not randomly select them. Just because we randomly assign them, that's an experiment that's further down the road. This is just how we're gathering the groups. The second method, we actually randomly selected people from a population so we could make a generalization on a population of all the people at this community fitness center because the uh, population was randomly selected. So the big difference, remember, is randomly selected observational study, randomly assigned experiment. In this case, they're talking about the initial gathering of the group. Uh, they're not talking about the results yet, just how we can draw it since we're talking random selection. That's when we can make assumptions on populations of where we pick the people from.